It's not even Christmas and I've been on pies. Look at this. Anyway, I've got me. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Got my tripod sorted. <laughs> Found my tripod. Found where I'd left it. But it's in news just lately. Just lately. This weekend, some broad. I forget the woman's name. She's a good looking lass. Proper, you know. Proper high class. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, it turns out. She's met. Her and her husband's made a load of money selling personal protective equipment. PPE. PPE. I'm back at lockdown. Or on the, the, the COVID caper. And if you, oh, everybody's up in. <laughs> anybody who's, anybody who sort of wants to have a hole in their ass, well, they've got a, oh, they've, they've got a gaping rip in it now. On the back of this woman. There's something about her, hus her husband's company has made just, yeah, plenty of money. Plenty. And he's put this money into some sort of trust fund in her name or what. It's just, you know, it's like, oh, well, look at what's happening here. Yeah, whatever. 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 What? And? And? What? What's your problem? I mean, I thought it was Chinese making all money on flipping... Um, PPE. I thought, I, thought, I thought that's where it was coming from. Or maybe this... Maybe this guy's just imported it. Oh, excuse me. Maybe he's just... Maybe he's the one who's bought it from China and sold it to NHS there. <laughs> Spoiler alert. If you've ever seen the film Catch-22 starring Alan Arkin... And a, a myriad of other people whose name escapes me, but whose names escape me. There's a bit in that where this character, Milo, M&M &M Enterprises, and he's figured out, he's clocked it, he has, that there's a part, there's a part of the film where he's running this idea past the uh, major, the guy in charge. And he's found there's some egg he's somewhere. He's, man, he's managed to find his eggs. He's managed to find somebody who can supply him with eggs. And obviously, these are they're fresh eggs, right? This is the point. Uh, by all accounts, there's eggs. There were eggs in World War Two, but they were they were like reconstituted eggs. They were like oh, they were they were eggs in in name only. If you could get all the fresh eggs. That was some, that was a real treat. And this Milo character runs it, he says, look, we can get these eggs from there, there, there. The, the, the price, I think it's some like two cents an egg. But we can sell them to the, to the mess. The, the, the you know, <clears throat> I think it's the, the American Army Air Force. But anyway, he basically runs the idea by this, by the gaffer, by bloke in charge. He says, look, you know, we can buy these eggs at two cents each, and we can sell them to mess for three cents each. That's a clear, pro a clear profit of one cents an egg. Who for? <laughs> says, the, says the captain. And Milo's like, ah, for whoever sells the eggs to the, to the mess. He's not, he's not, he's, he's peddling it as an idea. He's peddling it as an idea that the guy in charge can be part of. Oh, it's, it's just wonderful. It's, it's a fabulous, fabulous film. Because this shit just runs through the whole film, this kind of self-serving. There's a war on here, but, you know, we can make some money out of this war. 
And the main character, Yossarian, played by Alan Arkin. He's just... He, you know... He, he, he's just seen all this crazy shit going on. Because at one point, they're in plane, and Yossarian's looking in his... Looking for his... You know, he's opening his parachute. Where's my parachute? Oh, uh, Milo got a good deal on silk. So he sold, he sold out parachutes to someday in exchange for, you know, somewhere else. And you've got to get... He pulls out of his bag is this token. It's M&M &M Enterprises token or a, a share. Oh, well, you get a share in M&M &M Enterprises. Well, I've got no parachute. Yeah, but you got shares in company. Everybody's getting shares in company, man. It's it's wonderful film. It kind of sort of has me thinking about you know this. I say this woman, this woman who she's a peer, I think it is, here in the UK. She's a peer. What's a peer? Not one of them things you find at seaside. But somebody's in the House of Lords, I think it is. So, she's tucked up nicely now. But I think, I think this PPE caper stems back to when, I guess she were an MP, I don't know. Again, it, uh, you know, half a story, Danny boy. You know how it is. But, you know, people, people are just, people are just getting upset about it. And, and there's no... There's no <laughs> <coughs> pun intended. There's no profit in becoming upset about some shit that some cunt's done. When I say cunt, I mean you know I'm using it as a I, I, I genuinely I am using it as a colloquial term of endearment because there's no. You can't, you know. What do, you, what, do you think, what do you think she's going to do? Give all the money back? Who's she going to give it to? Nobody. Because she's not giving it. You know, I don't understand why... But I feel it... I feel somewhat rather puzzled that people get upset about these kind of things. And it's, it's like... You know, like it's... You get indignant. And, oh, look at what these people are doing. Yeah, yeah. If you... If you were in that position, you'd do the same thing. You would. You'd, you'd, you'd want to... You'd want to make as much money as you physically could. And so don't... Don't don't get upset when somebody else has done it. Someone else has beaten you to it. 